Hey y'all, out in Scooter World, Michael here. Uh, yesterday, that video I made, um, I was in a rush, so I didn't really have, uh, you know, time to, to make a good video about w what I'm really going through with this scooter. Usually I'll say hi through a mirror, but right now I'm just in a reflection of the terrain. I'm out in my garage, and I just thought I'd uh, make a video because... I'm looking for somebody out there online that knows about these scooters, okay? Because around my neighborhood and around where I live, I can't really find anybody that knows anything about these. So, but to, to, to briefly fill you in what I'm doing here, uh, me, all my life, I've loved to take apart things, figure out how they work, uh, you know, and I got this scooter about three months ago. It was a 50cc. And, you know, it had moderate power. You know, it wasn't the fastest thing in the world or anything. But a friend of mine told me about a 100cc big bore, meaning a bigger piston, a bigger engine head, and everything like that. And I, you know, knowing me, I jumped right on that. And uh, I took this engine apart and everything. It, you know, it took me a whole day and, and installed that uh, 100cc big bore. Now, I left everything here exactly the same. There's the carburetor. I left everything there the same. I left all the hoses the same. And this uh, cover here is uh, the original cover, but... Behind it, you can't see it because of this plastic shroud. It's the head, the head gasket, and everything like that. Where the piston is and everything like that. And I installed that, and, you know, and once I got done installing it, you know, I got it started within about 20 minutes and everything, and you know, I, immediately I could tell it was louder and had more power. And I was like, thrilled, yay, I pulled it off. But, not really, because... Little did I know that I was going to run into a lot of issues. One of them being an oil leak. It started out as a drip. And I figured out where the drip was coming th from through this seal. Here. This is the valve cover here. And I figured out where it was uh, coming from. So I, I kind of repaired that. Sort of. You know, I slowed it down. Uh, uh, anyway. And this screw here. I don't know, I'm going to have to, it's stripped in there. I can't really tighten it. I don't know if there's any tricks to to fixing a stripped screw or anything, but worse comes to worse, you know, knowing me, I'll just buy a new GY6 engine, which is fine with me, you know, because at least I'm learning stuff, you know, and I've always wanted to be a mechanic and everything like that, at least for motorcycles. And uh, I got a new... CDI there, I think is what it's called. It's pretty cool. New spark plug down there. But now, I'm getting oil. I mean, in this air box here, I mean, it is just filling up with oil um, and leaking out this. So, it's either coming through this. You know, I've read about uh, a catch, an oil catch can that I can hook up to here, but I'm thinking the oil might be coming through through this thing. I don't know. But to make a long story short, I installed this 100cc big bore. And I've been just having issues. And it seems like if I ride more than 20, 30 minutes, the engine seems to start to overheat and starts to act funny. But uh, I'll worry about that later. Right now, I've got... A brand new variator. This is a racing variator. I'm going to weigh out some lighter weights because I've been using these 7 gram weights. And I got the clutch out. And ever since I bought this scooter, I've been noticing like a vibration past 25 mile an hour. And what it feels like and sounds like, it's just something when you go past 25 mile an hour, I'll get like a, a vibration. Sounds like marbles going around a cylinder real fast but they they won't stay consistent it they'll spin and vibrate the whole thing and it, like a spinning vibration and it goes din, 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 or something like that you know what i mean and i never could explain that and anytime i had a friend test drive it and one time out of a hundred they won't vibrate 
you know, for some reason they might be in the exact right thing and they don't vibrate, but most of the time they do. So I've never really got across or been able to explain that vibration or figure out where it's coming from, the variator, the clutch, or maybe even the gears behind here. You know, I'm thinking about replacing all those gears. And uh, so that's where I'm at. I mean, if anybody has any tips or knowledge out there, I mean, I'm all ears. Let me know because this is not only a learning experience for me, it's uh, it's fun. I mean, building this, learning about it, learning how all this works. And, uh, you know, I mean, the 100cc is working good. I mean, it's got power and everything. And other than the oil leak and this air filter box filling up with oil rather quickly, you know, I think I pulled it off. And except for that. That, that that vibration spinning like feeling once I hit 20, 25 mile an hour. It's like it's, and then when I hit 35 miles an hour up to 40, that spinning will clear out, you know. But I'm just trying to find where and why and how that spinning is, is happening. If I have to, I will buy a brand new engine. They go around... Four hundred dollars, you know, and I'll just put a whole brand new engine in here uh, instead of the stock engine and stock parts, and I'll just put all brand new parts, and uh, that way I have this thing running the way I want. I admit that I should have just left well enough alone, but knowing me, I just want to learn everything. I want to do it. I want to be able to build these things and learn all this stuff in case, you know. Oops, my phone. In case, uh, you know, I break down or whatever, you know, I'll, I'll, uh, know what I'm doing. So, if it does cost me a new engine to learn and experience and get hands on dress, so be it. But, hopefully, I don't have to buy a brand new one. But, anyway, I just thought I'd, um, show this video. I got, here's my, my little work force here i mean my little work area or whatever um i got all the tools i need i got all the roller weights and everything i need in there all the all different uh i got a new clutch i mean there's my new carburetor you know hopefully i can change that later on tonight because this one here I, I can't get into the valve down there they've blocked it this uh this uh, uh, adjustment thing down there is blocked. I can't get to it, you know, for some reason. I guess it just, that's the way they do it. They don't want you messing around with any of the jets or anything like that. But anyway, anybody out there can uh, have any info or anything. Sorry this video is so long. Just hit me up. I'll probably paste, post this on uh, Facebook or something, you know, and a lot of scooter sites out there, but. Anybody can help me, you know, just let me know. Uh, you know, I'm good about sending donations or whatever to your PayPal account. I don't care, but anyway, uh, have a good one, and I'll, I'll talk to y'all later. I'm out. Have a good day.